What is day two hosting up to in 2020? Well, they got new pricing plans, they got new servers, and they still claim to be the fastest solution on the market right now. While this was true for 2019, for 2020, I got a new plan and redid all of the tests. So here's everything you need to know before you buy A2 Hosting. A major change from my 2019 A2 Hosting review is that they've got completely new plans with new pricing models. Let's take a quick look, but before that, some important details. A2 Hosting is now using the AMD Epic NVMe servers, which translate to non-volatile memory express, but I still love saying NVMe instead. These came out late 2019 and are pretty much the best servers you can get at the moment, coming in at around $4,000 per server. These kinds of servers are usually reserved for enterprise solutions, so you're getting to play with big boy toys for a relatively low cost. And the name, NVMe, is just like so cool. <laughs> At the moment, only the Turbo Boost and Turbo Max plans run on these new servers. Startup and Drive plans still use the older architecture, but they're naturally cheaper. Their cheapest 3-year plan will cost you $107. This includes a domain name and a free SSL certificate. You can also choose where you want your server location to be, and if you want something like WordPress pre-installed on your website upon purchase. While the cheapest plans from A2 Hosting actually give you absolutely everything you need to create a successful website, I don't really recommend you choose A2 Hosting if you're looking for cheap. InterServer or Hostinger can actually host a cheap website for a much lower cost that will perform probably on the same level because you're not pushing it to its limits. A2 Hosting is actually what I like to call a premium web hosting provider, meaning you get the best value for your money if you're actually choosing the more expensive options like Turbo Boost or Turbo Max because that's where all of the premium custom features are located. So naturally, I went all in and I got the most expensive plan for 3 years. This plan cost me around $540 for a 3 year period with a domain name. And this is what I'll use to test out the performance of A2 Hosting in 2020. I've used discounts to get these plans at a reduced price. You can get the exact same discounts by using the links down below, but be aware that these are affiliate links, meaning if you buy anything through them, I'll make a small commission. These commissions are what allows me to make actually good content. I can buy these expensive plans, I can test them out, and then provide you with free, unbiased and accurate information about web hosting. So thank you for supporting the channel. If you plan to use A2 Hosting, get yourself some discounts. And now, let's get back to the actual review. I imagine you're probably curious what do you actually get after purchase and how does everything look. So let's do a quick A2 hosting unboxing and see what can you expect after purchase. I'll be the first one to tell you that A2 hosting doesn't have a fancy user interface, but they do make it easy to create a website. Just click on the cPanel login, click the Softaculous app and here you can see a lot of different auto installer options available. I'll choose the A2 optimized WordPress installer myself and now simply fill out all of the details and click install. Everything will be taken care of automatically. And once it's done, you can easily reach your WordPress control dashboard where you can administrate your website. Everything you need to manage your website can actually be found by clicking the see panel login button. And if you've used cPanel before, all of these options should be familiar to you. A2 Hosting uses the industry standard solution and there's no custom designed interfaces. For example, you can create a custom email address for your business by clicking on the email accounts button. A2 Hosting also provides you with the necessary information if you want to set up your email alerts on your phone. Overall, it's quite an easy to use tool that comes for free with every single plan, so I can't really fault it. Just to have a benchmark of what we're working with, I went ahead and used the auto installer to create myself an empty WordPress website, and then used GT Metrics to test out the loading speed. And damn, 0.6 seconds, that's some serious speed. This is the fastest loading time I've seen out of any web hosting provider I've tested this year. Obviously, this is just a basic WordPress website. It doesn't have much load or stress on it because, well, it doesn't have much going on with it. So what I'll try to do next is I'll add some design elements to it and then I'll send some virtual users to test everything out to see how well A2 Hosting handles stress 
and when you're actually getting users on your website. I've chosen to install a simple Astra theme for my WordPress website. It's quite a fast and efficient way to create a website quickly using drag and drop. If you want to learn how to do this yourself, I'll leave a tutorial on screen right now. So in just a couple of minutes, I was able to add these design elements to my website. Now it looks like this and resembles an actual website. Let's check the performance once again. This newly designed website loaded in just 1.8 seconds. Again, incredible speed that has only been matched by SiteGround, another premium web hosting provider. So far, I'm really liking what I see here. But it's time for the last test. Let's send some users to destroy the website but before we do that i just want to remind you you can get the biggest discounts for a2 hosting plans by using the links down below and this really helps out my channel a ton because this shows the web hosting provider that i have an active audience and i can negotiate even bigger discounts in the future so a huge thank you to everyone who's supporting my channel Getting back on track, I was about to send some users to my website to destroy it. But sadly, I don't have thousands of users on standby to send to this test website, but I do have the next best thing, which is bots that simulate real users, so I'll send some of those and see how well A2 hosting handles stress. The green line is an increased user count on my website. The higher it is, the more users are online at the same time. And the blue line is how stable the performance is. As you can see here, 50 virtual users I've sent wasn't even significant enough to make a dent. It performs as well with zero users as it does with the max limit that I can send with this testing software. I have to rate A2 hosting performance 10 out of 10. Really superb stuff. And this really shows that A2 hosting is highly focused on performance, since their plans got better in 2020 than they were in 2019. And their plans should be reserved for webmasters that are focusing on performance themselves and will push these plans to its limits. Hence the high price point, because you're getting enterprise level tech. If we would look at the stability that A2 hosting offers, I've measured that using Pingdom. For the past 6 months, my website was online for 99.96% of the time. There were some problems with response times for a couple of months, but now it seems to be fixed. If you're looking for good performance and you don't really care about anything else, you can safely go ahead and buy A2 hosting right now. But if you want to know more, for example, what kind of features they offer, how good is the support and are there any major advantages or disadvantages, keep watching because I'll cover that next. Once you're in the dashboard, you have this chat button. You can click on it anytime and this feature comes free with any web hosting plan from A2 Hosting. So here's my story with the A2 Hosting support team. I'll try to see if they're here to help or here to sell me more features. First, I purposely chose the wrong category of support to see how they would react. I got a response almost immediately, definitely less than a minute I would say and I was quickly told that I would be better assisted with the sales department. So the agent transferred me. At this point, I was like, okay, here we go, the good old sales department. How are they gonna try to weasel their way into selling me plans I don't need this time? Then to be a bit sneaky, I've set up the bait. I've basically explained that I'm ready to buy the most expensive plan they have to offer and outlined my website specs. I was fully expecting the support agent to go full on greed mode and just sell me this plan knowing that it's an overkill for me. But to my surprise, the support agent actually explained that for what I'm doing, I don't need such an expensive plan and I should go with the way less expensive option. So I just thanked him for the heads up and exited the chat. By the way, always rate your support agents. Sometimes your rating is the deciding factor if they get a raise or a bonus. We're all human, so help a brother out. They had the perfect opportunity to sell me something I don't need, but chose not to. They lost the sale, but they've earned my trust. So at least based on my experience with the support, I can definitely recommend them that you're getting accurate and trustworthy answers. By the way, they also have email and phone support, but me personally, I only use chat support if it's available, so I won't go in depth about email or phone support in this review. It's actually quite hard to pinpoint any solid disadvantages. More of it is just like annoying rather than harmful. For example, 
If you're a new user, you might find yourself in a situation where you buy a plan and you don't know what to do with it because they're not very good at guiding new users towards creating their first website. So you just get a plan and then you're stuck there thinking, okay, so what do I do now? Another example is that you can't see all of the websites you've created in the dashboard. You actually need to go into your cPanel, then click the Softaculous Apps Installer, then click on My Apps, and only then you can't see all of the websites you're actually hosting. It gets tiresome quick when you're trying to manage several websites. And yeah, there are several more small things like that, but honestly, I would just feel like an asshole if I would start nitpicking about that, because it's mostly personal preference. Quite similar to the disadvantages, the advantages actually come down to personal preference. But I'll cover some of the major ones that I personally found the most useful. You get free account migration, meaning if you already have a website with another provider, you can buy a plan with A2 hosting, discounts in the description by the way, fill out this form and one of the A2 hosting technicians will transfer your website to A2 hosting completely free of charge. The second advantage is their anytime money back guarantee. If you cancel your plan within 30 days, you get a full refund. If you cancel after 30 days, you get the money back for unused time on your plan. If you're currently in a situation where you think that your current web hosting provider is slow and your website would perform better elsewhere, but you're not sure how the transferring process works, give A2 Hosting a try. They'll do all of the work for you and it'll cost you nothing. Because even worst case scenario, you can just refund. And at the moment, if you use the links down below, you can even get up to 65% discounts for even better trial experience. What type of user A2 Hosting fits the best? Well, if you currently have just a small website that barely takes up any space, don't even look at A2 Hosting. They pack way too much power for your website. You can get similar performance for fraction of the cost from InterServer or Hostinger. A2 Hosting is a premium product, meaning it's best suited for high profile projects. If you're noticing that you're growing fast and your current web hosting provider just can't keep up with your website, A2 Hosting will probably provide you with a better home for your website. But at the same time, you probably need to buy the Turbo Max or the Turbo Boost plans to take the best advantage of their custom features and get the best bang for your buck. If you found this review helpful, consider dropping a like or a subscribe and also comment down below what type of web hosting company are you using at the moment and are you planning to switch. If you want more great web hosting content, you can find that on my channel. My name's Emmett and as always, good luck creating your websites.